Hey, good morning, everybody. Um, I had had someone ask about this here a while back, so I just thought I'd do a quick, and this really is gonna be a quick video. This is showing the roof mounting system on a uh, Lear 100XR camper shell. Um, I ordered this from Lear with the, uh, the track system in it so I could carry kayaks and maybe a roof basket or something like that at some time. And I just really wanted to show a closer look at it to show what it looks like. But what they do is they put these tracks right on the camper shell. And I suspect they probably do it uh, after it's molded because I think they just drill holes and put uh, uh, the tracks on and then anchor it down. I don't think you can see it in here, but on the underside, uh, and I'll show you that in a second on inside the camper shell, they have some anchor points where the bolts come through the camper shell and screw into these rails. And then I went ahead and got the square rail system. Now you can still, you can of course get the arrow blades, I think is what they're called, which is a little bit more aerodynamic, but I just wanted something basically, basically cheaper. And I do know that these square rail systems, you do find a lot more uh, devices that can work with it. A lot easier to put baskets and whatnot on instead of going with the, the, the wide blades. Now, I don't notice any wind noise on these, but I did take them off whenever I take a long trip um, for gas mileage. Because obviously, I mean, you've got two little blocks sticking right up in the air so um but yeah it, it works out really good these are the Thule systems um i've got them locked right now but you can put a key in here unlock it push this button and this part will just pop right off and then you have this little small plastic part that remains in place now they did give me some covers to put on top of that when i take these off um i promptly <laughs> lost them i think and i haven't used them um, and when you take these off, there are screws in here where you can adjust where these things slide in the track. So if you have a basket and you need these closer together, for example, you can do it like that. But yeah, so far it works out great. You know, I've, uh, I've had really good luck with it and I can't say I've hauled a whole lot on it, but when I have used them, they've, they've worked out really good. So let me show you inside real quick and show you the mounting system on the inside. All right. So this is what we have on the inside those little round screws. Uh, looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six of them on the on either side. And those are what's holding on the track on the roof. Um, now, a lot of guys will take these out, I think, uh, pull off the cap. There's a little plastic decorative cap on there and then put in a longer screw to mount stuff from here. And I thought about doing that, but so far I haven't had a need to because I did go ahead and get it with these uh, uh, cargo clips installed when I had the shell made uh, and as you can see they have four of those on on each side and those work out really good this is just an old cargo net that I had around and I just have it strapped over that to keep uh, some lightweight stuff in paper towels uh, things like that hey this is a handy device too this is one of those Harbor Freight 99 cent well, I think it's like a dollar seventy nine or dollar nine grabber, and this thing comes in very nice and handy for um, grabbing stuff in the truck when you don't want to haul your fat butt up in there like I don't quite often. So, well worth it to keep one of those in there. But again, anyway, I just wanted to show the inside of it uh, to show what it looks like on the inside mounting. Um, Glad I could actually keep this as a short video. So guys, feel free to holler. Let me know if you have any questions and be safe out there.